Welcome to Pregnancy and Postpartum TV. Today we're doing pregnancy yoga and exercises to get your baby into the optimal position for labor. Whether you just want to keep your baby in a good position, engage it in your pelvis, whether you need to make more room and turn a posterior baby, or whether you're trying to flip a breech baby. And of course, it's a yoga class, so it's gonna help your body feel good as well. You don't need any equipment for this class except for a mat or a comfortable floor to get down on. You could also use a yoga block if you have one or just a couple of pillows. Always check with your doctor before starting any new exercise routine. Listen to your body and only do movements that feel safe for you and your baby. I am wearing a belly for this video. I'm not actually pregnant right now. I do have three kids, but I do put out new pregnancy fitness and yoga videos every week. So if you like videos like these and to support me, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. We're gonna start on our hands and knees, and this is a great position to help get baby into the right position or flip a posterior baby. After about 28 weeks, I tried to spend about 10 minutes twice a day on my hands and knees. So feel free to go slow with these poses and just hang out here, getting your baby in a good position. So we'll start with some pelvic tilts. And so you can round out your back and lengthen. Probably feels good as well. And then inhale and arch. And then just move back and forth with your breath. Making sure that you're engaging your core and so that your baby just isn't flopping out. We can come back to a neutral spine and we'll do some hip circles. Go the other way. And we'll do a C shape stretch. So bringing your bum out to one side and your shoulders back, looking as if you had a tail and then making a C shape on the other side and moving back and forth with your breath. And take your knees wide apart and we'll move back into a child's pose and then we'll stretch out our upper part of our side body and you can walk your hands side to side. And the last one on this side. Coming back to center, moving back to all fours. We'll thread the needle, taking one hand and threading it through underneath, resting your shoulder on the ground. If it feels good, you can bring that top hand up and around for a gentle twist.
and you can bring that hand back down beside your face if it was up and moving in on the other side and again no reason to rush this pose because it's just a good position to be in to position your baby breath in and out. And we'll take one more breath here. And bring that hand back in front of your face. And coming back to all fours, we'll move into dog bird. So again, activating your core and lifting opposite arm and leg and moving with your breath. And last one, beautiful. And we can tuck our toes and move into downward dog. You can move your hips back and forth. Spread your fingers and toes. If it feels good, lift one heel off and drop into one hip to get a deeper stretch in the back of one leg at a time. And alternate. and reach both heels towards the ground. It doesn't matter if they come down, reach them both down and breathe. Big inhale in. Let's we'll take tiny steps forward with our feet all the way to our hands. And once we're here, we can roll up. And we can do some hip circles here. You can place your hands on your hips and feet wide apart. And we could do hip circles. If you have a ball, this is also great to do on a yoga ball. And just opening up space. Sitting on the yoga ball throughout the day is also good to get that tilt in your hips rather than slouching on the couch. We can go the other way. The other way that you can sit is backwards on a chair and leaning over the back of the chair to get that anterior tilt to get baby in a good position. Beautiful. And let's turn one foot to the side and we'll open up for triangle, reaching forward and breathe. And on the next inhale, coming up, we'll turn our hips to face one side and 
Lift your arms up, bend that front knee for warrior one, and breathe. Beautiful, and straightening that front knee. We'll shift to triangle on the other side. Spreading your toes, reaching over, and moving into triangle. Inhale, bringing your body back up. Shifting your hips to face the other side for warrior one. Inhale your arms up, bending your front knee. And breathe, spreading your toes. Back edge of your back foot is firmly pressed into the ground. One more breath here. Inhale, straighten that front leg, and we'll come to a centered position. We can pigeon toe our toes in. Inhale, your arms out to the side, hands on your hips. Let's do a little chest opener, looking up, and then we'll fold all the way forward to wide-legged forward fold. And you can release your hands when you get down there. Relax forward. Place one hand in front of your face and open up gently to the side, just for a gentle twist, not too deep. Gentle twists are okay in pregnancy, but you never want to leverage yourself into a twist. We can twist the other way, opening up. And coming back down, placing your hands on your hips again, and with a lengthened spine coming all the way up. And we'll make our way back down to hands and knees, coming down on your knees and all fours. From here, we can come down onto our elbows and then walk your hands forward and place your forehead on the ground into a puppy position. So this position is safe for any position that your baby is in. However, if you know that your baby is breech, you can walk your knees back to make a longer space between your hands and your knees and someone could even put a strap from behind and help hold you in that position to help turn a breech baby. But for now, we'll just hang out in puppy pose. Take a deep breath in. Exhale out. And another one. And one more breath here. Beautiful. Let's walk our hands back up and we can do some more cat and cow. And a few hip circles, you can take note of this feels different than at the beginning of the class. Go both ways. Good. 
and you can take one leg out to the side and let that hip fall in for a nice stretch. Bringing that leg back in. You can take the other leg out for the stretch on the other side. Perfect, and engaging your core, bringing that leg back in. We're gonna tuck our toes and move into another downward dog. You can place one foot centered and release one leg up behind you, floating it up. And right now your hips are squared towards the ground, but if you wanted to open them up, bring that leg a little bit higher up and then bend that top knee for a deeper stretch, you can. And next exhale, bringing that leg down again, switching legs. Energy is shooting out that back heel. Top foot is flexed. And then you can roll open that hip. Beautiful, bringing that top leg down again and coming back to all fours. Now we'll come to a seated wide-legged forward fold. And this is where if you're not able to sit straight, you might wanna sit on a block or you could sit on a pillow, just placing that underneath your bum, which allows you to sit nice and forward, which is great for positioning your baby. Your legs are open, which is also great. And knees are slightly below your hips and sitting up nice and tall and then folding forward a little bit if you can and breathe. If you're ready, you can walk your hands back in and bring your feet in. We're gonna move down on our backs, getting down safely on your side, and we'll move into a bridge pose. So we're not gonna stay on our backs here. So this is an unsafe and late pregnancy. And you can press into your feet, press your bum up, and roll your shoulders underneath you if you can and clasp your hands and pressing into your arms. Slight lift in the chin. So this is also a great pose for positioning. If it's too hard to hold this for a long period of time, you could also stack pillows or bolsters underneath you. And this is also similar to the ironing board position or if your baby is 100% breech, you can look up ironing board position, but basically picture an ironing board and you lying head down to get that tilt to try to flip your baby. And one more breath here. You can untuck your shoulders and then roll down one vertebra at a time. 
And while we're here, bring your knees in. You can rock back and forth. And safely roll over on your side and we'll come up. We have one more posture. And so bringing your knees wide apart, we can move into a yogi squat. So if your heels don't come down to the ground, you can either roll up your mat and put them or your heels can stay off. And we'll press our elbows into our knees, hands together and breathe. Good, so we're gonna finish up this pose now, but if you wanted to come back to this pose, this is something that in my pregnancies I like to do several times every day to help open my hips and get my baby in a good position. But I'm going to come out of the position and we can come down to Shavasana. If you wanted to grab a pillow for between your knees, you can make your way down on your side again and find a comfortable laying position. Scanning your body, if you wanted to bring your hand to your belly, connect with your baby. Fully relaxing your body, breathing out any tension. And you can either stay here and rest, or if you're ready to come out, wiggle your fingers and toes, stretching them away from each other and pushing yourself back up to a seated position. And I will read the yoga card for today, which of course is my baby will be in the perfect position for birth. So thank you so much for joining me for this yoga practice today. Namaste to you and namaste to the babies. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by hitting the thumbs up button or leaving me a comment in the comment section. I'm going to keep making more pregnancy yoga and fitness videos. So if you do like videos like these, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. I also have lots of free resources for pregnant moms, so you can go down to the description box. I have a guide on how to reduce and cope with pain in labor, a Kegel guide on how to prepare your pelvic floor for the easiest birth and fastest recovery after, a pregnancy meal plan, or you can get your own copy of the pregnancy yoga cards.